Hello, I'm Jonathan Beal with Saratoga Copper and uh, I'm here to talk to you about things to use with the copper cookware. Just a little information about um, using this stuff and the best things to use with your 10 line copper cookware, probably also the same with your Teflon and anything that's got a nice um, oh, uh, um, seasoning to it like a cast iron, all those things, you know, you build up kind of a finish on there. And tin is kind of a soft material. With that said, you really don't want to use metal utensils with that because it will scratch your tin if you're getting in there on it. And it's, you know, it's okay to use it some, but it's best to use wooden utensils. So metal spoons, scraping, it's not that big of a deal. Don't get in arguments with your partner about it. Um, I occasionally do. I'm like, ah, you're using this. I told you not to. Oh, but it's what we had. But uh, peace is always better than conflict. Um, so if they're doing it, okay, that happens. This stuff we can always fix after years. Retin, that inevitably happens after 10 years. You might want to retin this stuff. Um, for example, my Paya pan that I've been using here for, oh, seven or eight years, it's looking great. Still looking nice, cooking nice. Uh, probably in another, I don't know, seven years, I'll retin this thing. And we do retinning for people. Um, we can retin the interiors of this stuff. However, Wood utensils are kind of the nicest thing to use on there. Look at this, wooden ladle. Yes, not very practical. They do make them. It's nice maybe for a sauce, looks cool. You want to use a metal ladle, get in there, go ahead, not a problem. But the best, like I said, best thing to use are wooden utensils for all this stuff. Wooden utensils moving around here and your stuff around, you get something stuck in there. It's really nice to deglaze with like a wine to make a little sauce. Kind of deglaze your pan at the end of, of cooking with it. Maybe you've got something cooked down in there and got a little crispy on there. A deglaze is a great way to kind of lift all of that off of there. The tin is, can be a relatively non-stick surface cooked with properly and it's real easy to get all those things off of there. When you're cleaning your pan, uh, there's definitely some important things I want to say about that. Um, Inside and outside on the polished, you don't want to use this abrasive side of your sponge or these green, heavy abrasives. Yellow side, soft side, not a problem. Green side, it's going to wear down this high polish that we've beaten on here. Um, and it's going to look a little scratched, not going to have that same shine. Not going to hurt your pan, still going to be totally functional, all going to be good. Scrubbing in here on this, getting real hard in there on the, something in your pan. Um, you don't need to do that. Soak it in water. This, that will wear off your, your interior quicker. Same thing with your Teflon, with your well-seasoned cast iron. Um, you just want to let that stuff soak, maybe put a little hot water in there, put it on the burner, lift that off. One of my favorite things to use scrubbing is a natural bristle brush. And these things are great. You can find them at most, uh, you know, most, uh, you can find them online. We don't sell these yet. We probably should. Um, you can find them online. And this stuff just, it does a great job of just cleaning off all the stuck bits, heating it up. You know, it's an amazing little, little tool, and I love it. It's natural. This is some kind of like root tendrils. It's amazing. Um, so just a quick overview again. Metal utensils, don't recommend. Getting a knife in there and cutting on the tin, don't recommend that. Same as with your Teflon, same as with your seasoned cast iron. Um, for cleaning, um, we recommend not using the abrasive side of the brush. Something that has a little bit of texture to it, that's fine, that's great. Best of the best, natural bristle, get in there, scrub it out, things are gonna look great. Wooden utensils, all right. Metal ladles, probably fine. Got some of these nice big wooden spoons you might be able to find somewhere. I sure am glad my mom did not have this when I was a kid growing up, because this, woo, 
But uh, this is a great wooden spoon. I love using this thing in, in here. I got a big pot of pozole or a bunch of bones in there and just, oh, it's great. Serving up. That's about a cup. You can get about a cup out of that. So if you have any questions about our goods, using them, cleaning them, anything that's happened to the pan, uh, we've got almost a quarter century of working with all this stuff and a quarter century of clients, thousands of people that have used our goods for many, many years, people using the same goods they bought from us 25, 23 years ago. Um, and we'd love to answer any questions you have. All of that shared knowledge and experience we'd love to bring into that community of copper lovers um, and using this stuff and making your life a brighter place with shiny things and thing, tools that are made to be used and look good. And that's what we do and we really enjoy it. Thank you very much.